Hi, this is Bill Hintz at e &M. I'd like to talk today about a common set of problems that we see when we're doing um, project work. And, and if we're doing a control project, um, you really don't have a lot of extra time. And obviously, once we have a project okayed, then we have a deadline. So we don't want to have to figure out parts and pieces and, and worry about missing a part or a piece. That, so when we do our assembly of the project, um, we, we've forgotten a terminal block or, or a memory card or some silly thing that um, actually is going to cause us problems and we have to reorder and so forth. You also don't have time to search for CAD drawings and manuals and that type of thing. What I want to show you is a, is a tool that I use to keep from doing that. And actually, it's called the TIA configuration tool. And actually, um, this is the tool itself. It's a downloadable version, which is what I'm running here. You can also run it in the cloud if you like. Um, I like the downloadable version because I don't need to be online to do it. Um, let's just say we're going to do a project and we want to do a new device. So we look at um, new device and it comes up with all these different options that we could actually pick from. And if I click on controllers for, uh, let's say we're going to do a PLC project here, there are actually a whole bunch of tabs at the cross the top. So if I just wanted to do a real basic one, give me an S7-1200 would be my option. Advanced controller, it's going to enter, just pick the, uh, the devices that make sense. So um, let's just pick a 1500 for, uh, for fun here. I'm going to go ahead and configure that. And once I click on it, it actually comes up and gives me a uh, controller. And this first page that it comes up is, is kind of a template. So in other words, it, it's going to filter down what we might need for a project. For example, if we're going to do a high temperature one, we might only want to look at high temperature modules and that kind of thing. One of the advantages of this tool is that the defaults work. So if I select something, it will give me all the parts I need to actually make a working project. Now we can go back and edit those if we want to tweak things and so forth, but um, it's going to get us everything that we need, to, as I said, to actually order a, uh, a project and, and go ahead and uh, get going without having to worry about not having all the parts. So we see here that it comes up with a 1500. It shows me all the CPUs that we can pick. I'm just going to pick any one here. When I double click on it, any object that has options, it's going to come up and show them to me. So in other words, this one, it's automatically picked a memory card, so I don't have to worry about that. There's other sizes that it could pick. You know, it picks it according to the processor size and, and, and its best guess. There's other options, OPC, UA, and so forth, that we could actually select, but not mandatory. So I'm just going to go ahead and select the defaults that it picked for us. And if we look at the bottom of the screen here, it's generating a bill of materials as we go. It knows we needed a DIN rail, so it actually added it. If I open up the CPU, it sees there, we can see there that the memory card was selected. Let's go ahead and um, select an I.O. card. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick an I.O. card here. It's going to put one in the rack. It's going to select on there a, um, some accessories for us. Accessories for default for my project is actually screw front connectors. There's other options that we could pick here. I mean, these, this is kind of a neat one, and actually there is a pigtail pre-wired harness and so forth that we can select. But once again, I'm just going to keep all the defaults. Um, one thing I did want to show you, though, is that if I select this module and we want to get more info, I can always just click on this online support key. And what it will do is it's going to actually bring me right into the Siemens website and bring up that module's um, information. So in other words, it's going to give me a full list of all the manuals and so forth that we can actually uh, download for this, for this part. Um, a little tip here, I, I just like to select technical data to get a cut sheet, and this will actually give me a real quick idea of what we're uh, talking about there. Okay, so let's um, take a look and, and see what these uh, other tabs are up above here. This limits is kind of a neat one. What it's going to do, you can see here we've got 105 millimeters of width of our uh, modules and so forth. The limits tab actually gives us a bunch of information. We see here the height, the width, the depth, and which DIN rail that we selected. Um, there's a bunch of I.O. Um, counts and so forth. The power that we're going to actually use and the total peak value current is helpful when we're selecting a power supply for our CPU. 
Lastly, we can actually select engineering software, and what it's going to do then is that if we don't already have the Siemens software required for this project, I can just select it. Now, the second one here is with a, with a laptop built in, but we're just going to grab software, hit apply. And now it's going to actually come up and say, okay, which software um, have you selected? It shows me the 1500 uh, version of the uh, TIA version 14. Do I want to um, configure fail-safe CPUs? Not for this project. Um, and are we already using software? Let's just say no, that we're not. It's going to say, okay, are there some other options we could pick? Um, how do we want that delivered? A download or a DVD? I'm going to pick the DVD one. And lastly, if we want the software update service, which actually just gives us any new versions that come out during the next year. Okay, so what do we have here? I've actually got a CPU. I've got the Step 7 software required for it. And I can actually go into my order list at this point. And what it's going to do is actually give me an option. Here's all the parts in our project. I can export that as a Excel spreadsheet. And it's going to show it to me actually in an Excel spreadsheet. So now I've got my bill of materials. It gives me, a, this is suitable for use in, in a project file. And I can also just send this as an email to uh, e and m uh, and they can give us a quote on that. So in conclusion, we've sent off our quote request and uh, we can actually get our order in. We're confident that we're gonna actually have all the bits and pieces that we're gonna need for our project. At the same time, we've got this tool that allows us to get all the CAD drawings and manuals and so forth we need to assemble together to uh, get ready for our parts to come in. Um, this is a tool that actually can save us a lot of time and keep us under budget. And in the end, that's gonna save money as well. So once again, my name is Bill Hintz at E&M and give us a call.